Ni hao, this is Li Tao Chinese. My name is Zheng Tao. I'm your Chinese teacher. Welcome to the first level of our Chinese character course, lesson seven. In today's lesson, we are going to learn the fourth compound stroke, begins with the basic stroke Hong and ten new characters. Well, let's get started. This compound stroke is called Hong Zhe Gou, Hong Zhe Gou, which consists of Hong Zhe and the small hook Go. We already learned the two ones in the previous lessons. This Hong Zhe Go should be done in one stroke. Actually, all compound strokes should be written in one stroke, no matter how complex they are. Let's look at some characters which have this compound stroke Hong Zhe Go. This character is Yo Yo. Like the character Peng, we have just learned, the meaning of Yo is not related to the moon either, even though you can find Yue in it. The ancient written form can explain why. The upper part represents a hand. The lower part is not the moon. Actually, it represents a piece of meat. This character was made by drawing a hand is holding a piece of meat to indicate the meaning of to have or to own. The current version of the character Yo still means to have or to own. Let's look at two sentences with the character Yo. The first sentence: This factory has six thousand people. 这 this 个 is the match word. 工厂 factory 有 to have 六千 six thousand 个 match word. 工人 worker. So 这个工厂有六千个工人 means this factory has six thousand workers. The second sentence. 你明天上午有空吗？你明天上午有空吗？你 ，you in singular。明天 ，tomorrow。上午 ，morning。有 ，to have。The character 空 means free time。吗 ？is put at the end of a sentence to make a yes or no question。你明天上午有空吗 ？means do you have free time tomorrow morning？ Here is the correct stroke order of yo. Write the upper part first. Hong, pie. Then the lower part yue, shu. Hong zhe gou, hong hong. Six strokes in total. Please notice that the first stroke of the character yue by itself is pie, but the first stroke of yue in the character yo is not pie. It's Shu. There are some small changes between the characters stand alone and when they become one part of other characters. You will find more examples in our future lessons. Let's write the character Yo stroke by stroke again. Hong, Pie, Shu, Hong Zhe Gou, Hong, Hong, Yo, to have or to own. This character is shu, shu. Its ancient written form is like this. This part represents a hand, which we already see it in many ancient characters, and this represents a brush pen. The bottom part refers to an ink stone. This character tells us that a person holds a brush pen. And dips ink to write, so its original meaning is to write. The character shu also means book, and this meaning is more commonly used now. Let's look at some examples with the character shu. The first one, shu dian, shu book, dian store, shu dian bookstore. 中文书
中文 Chinese language 书 book Chinese language book book in Chinese language 中文书日文书日文 Japanese language 书 book Japanese language book book in Japanese language 日文书 Here is a sentence. 我的朋友有不少中文书。我的朋友有不少中文书。我的 means my. 我的朋友 my friend. 有 to have. 不少 means many. 中文书 Chinese books. So the meaning of this sentence is, my friend has many Chinese books. 我的朋友有不少中文书。Here is the correct stroke order of 书 The first stroke is 横折 then write 横折钩 The third one is 竖 The dot 点 should be on the right of the top. Four strokes in total. One more time. 横折横折钩竖点书 Book. This character is. Thanks for watching. Remember to visit Li Tao Chinese dot com for the full version of this video lecture and the complete learning package.